Question 22 uh, Show that fx equals to the 2x cubed plus 4x minus 7 is continuous at the x equals to 1 Okay, before you find the continuity at the x equals to 1, uh, when fx equals to the 2x cubed plus 4x uh, minus 7, so first step, find the limit of uh, x, fx, yeah? So find the left-hand limit of the function, uh, limit as x here approaches uh, 1 from the left of fx. This one is uh, from the left, left-hand limit. And the uh, second here, find the right-hand limit of the function uh, limit as x here approaches 1 uh, from the left, from the right of the uh, fx, okay? Uh, so limit of fx here uh, defined or exists when the left-hand limit equals to the right-hand limit, okay? First step. Okay, step 2, um, uh, find the f1. Okay, so find the f1 uh, function here defined at the 2x cubed plus 4x uh, minus 7. And then uh, step 3, uh, you compare the limit of fx uh, compared with the uh, f1. Yeah? Uh, in conclusion here, uh, fx uh, continues at the x equals to 1. Okay, so first step, uh, find the existence of uh, limits. Okay, first uh, find the uh, limit of uh, fx uh, from the left. Okay, so here a limit of fx here from the left. So here you put the negative sign, yeah. Uh, so uh, left hand limit. Uh, limit here as x approaches 1 from the left of fx uh, and here you put the negative sign and the substitute the value and the limit of fx here equals to the negative 1 yeah? uh, second find the right hand limit of the function RHL uh, limit as x here approaches 1 from the right of fx so here you put the positive sign and here answer equals to the negative uh, 1 yeah? So you compare the left hand limit and the right hand limit. Okay, so uh, left hand limit here equals to the negative one and the right hand limit here equals to the negative one okay so limit here approaching the uh, same value from the both side from the left negative one and the, from the right here equals to the negative one and conclusion you here a uh, limit of fx uh, exists Okay, settle step 1, uh, find the limit of fx. Step 2, uh, find the fx. Yeah? Uh, fx uh, defined at the x equals to 1. So you substitute the value, uh, substitute the value into the function uh, equals to the negative 1. Okay? So fx here defined at the negative 1. 
In the step 3, uh, you compare the limit of fx compared with the uh, fx. Yeah? Limit here equals to the negative 1. And then the fx here equals to the negative 1. Okay? So limit here equals to the fx. In conclusion, fx here continues at the x equals to a 1.